Pepperland has been delightful in that from the first minute it grabbed people and it was a success in a way that I couldn't imagine. I had no idea because we went at it, you know, very, it was a it was a tight schedule to get this together with the music and the designs and the choreography and the travel plans and the copyright, you know, it's like, and the co-commissioners, super complicated. And I work fast and my dancers work fast. And so then opening night, it's like, what? Hooray, like everybody loved it. And I was happy, of course, because we're, that's what I want to do is to make a piece that people are involved in and enjoy. So. It's been great and we're gonna, you know, we're doing it on the road for quite a long time. As I say about this show, Pepperland, which is a terrible trick, but it's true. I say this piece is for people who love or hate the Beatles. There, done, and everybody in between. And it's not a nostalgic trip for people my age in their 60s who it's not like recreating my youth and I'm not interested in that but the music is great um, and of course it was it was only recorded it was never done as a live score so to reimagine it with living musicians in this day in this time about an hour dancers musicians audience a rethinking of this music, even if you know it, you're going to be surprised by it. And it's also, I guarantee that it is not anything you've ever seen or heard before. It's new. So it doesn't need to be revised or updated or explained or defended. It can do something. It can make you feel in a way that you haven't felt before.